<laughs> I'm all over the place. Hello, my fram. It is Perez, and I'm doing a two-in-one video today, a life parenting catch-up video, plus I'm taking the kids to do something really cool, and I'm meeting up with a very special friend. So, I'm excited. Uh, I think she's, she's, she's going. A famous friend, somebody that I consider family. Uh, so I will wait to show you who that is, and I will wait to tell you what we're doing before I tell the kids. But first, this has been occupying so much space in my mind. And so have they, my kids and my mom. We have had a blast in Vegas and there's still a lot of trip left. We're here for a while. Um, we've almost had too much fun because I've been overwhelmed with work, catching up, even though I'm not working as much as I do in Los Angeles, I still am because my true 10 has been taking up so much of my time. If you don't know, this is my new CBD gummy line that I just launched and it would mean the world to me if you tried it. Not just because you would be supporting me and I really want to make this a success, but because I know that this will help you. There are so many benefits to CBD. Check us out at mytrue10.com. That's mytrue10.com. mytrue10.com, sign up. It's easy. If you try it and you don't wanna keep up the subscription, you can cancel at any time easily. It's priced in a subscription model to be able to make it as affordable as we do. 10 milligrams of CBD per serving, try it. Um, it's been a lot of work because this has been a learning curve. As co-owner of this, I am held to a different standard than a regular person who tried a CBD product and talked about it. Unfortunately, and it pains me, I can't share with you all the many benefits that I personally get from this. And if I do, it has to be in very roundabout ways. Um, for example, I can say, um, I can say something about life in general. Lately, I've been very restful and I can talk about other things, but I cannot make any claims. I cannot say this will do that for you, yada, yada. So, and you know, my partners are amazing and being very cautious because they don't want to get a big fine. So um, I'm on eggshells and sending everything ahead of time, which I don't normally work this way. You know, whenever I create content or write something, I just say whatever I want, but I'm sending it to my partners to have them look over all the videos and everything that I write to make sure that we're not exposing ourselves to trouble. And that's a lot of pressure. I haven't even changed. I smell right now. I have not changed my t-shirt in a few days. I have not left the house in two and a half days. Um, and that's fine because we had four or five days in a row of so much fun, so much activity. The kids are thrilled. They've been these last couple of days uh, chilling in the pool, which makes them so happy. And my mom took them today to this Cuban restaurant. Las Vegas has such a big Cuban community. I love Las Vegas. I'm not moving here unless work takes me here. Like a TV show that films in Vegas, uh, being an anchor at a t on a station here, doing an entertainment show or whatever, um, a Vegas residency of some capacity. If that came my way, I would move to Vegas. I love it here, but I'm not moving 
And, you know, it's nice to come and be here for a while and do it all then, you know? Like I could be in LA and be in grind mode and focused and I love that because it's easier to be healthier. I have not shaved or showered and I need to, to trim my nails. I have not been eating very healthy. I had every intention of waking up at 5.30 like I do in Los Angeles and working out and eating healthy, but that has not happened. Hopefully I can get back on track before we go back to LA, but you know what? If I don't, so what? I'm enjoying, I'm indulging, but I'm not going crazy, as crazy as I did like the summer of 2018 when I was eating peanut brittle nonstop. It, it's like somewhere in the middle. And you know, on vacation, you should indulge and enjoy yourself. And I have been, oh my God, so much fun. And today we're gonna do something that makes me so happy. But first, let me check. I wrote notes down, not in front of me. I wanna make sure that I didn't miss anything. It's kind of a brief update. Let me, let me check. Okay, yeah, I remember now. It wasn't front and center because the problem has been resolved. This is a good reminder for myself and for everybody. More often than not, Difficult situations, tough times are just temporary. You saw probably the video of our first day in Vegas. Oh my God, that was a nightmare. And I basically lost an entire day. I wasn't planning to work that much our first day here, but I still would have liked to have worked four, five, six hours, you know, I'm crazy. Even on vacation, I still work. Resolved that, then had some very busy days, but in this wonderful Airbnb, the Wi-Fi was painfully slow. From my laptop to my phone, it hurt how slow it was. Like I got asked to do um, some talking head stuff and I filmed it on my phone. You know how long it took me to email my sister a five minute video clip, it took me 60 minutes. That's how slow the Wi-Fi was. But you know what? The owner of this property, phenomenal. We hit him up and he upgraded the Wi-Fi for me. And he doesn't even know it's me here. Um, I mean, maybe he did if he Googled, but you know, I'm so appreciative. This space is working out well now. You know, the bad Wi-Fi, that was happening for about five days though. So it was like, ah! Uh, only yesterday afternoon was it fixed. But you know what? It's fixed and the future is bright. And please check out my True 10 and we're gonna go have some fun tonight. Let's go! And because I have OCD, mytrue10.com. Mytrue10.com. Look at this. They're my matching. Sister. No, my sister, my sister can say thank you in English. She can? Yeah, say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? ¿Qué es eso? Um, no, it's gracias. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys, you look adorable. So do you, Mario. Today, hey, today we're gonna see a show that I know, we're gonna see a show. And I know you're gonna love it. You wanna know why? Yeah. It's a puppet show. Yeah. Puppet, puppets. It's puppets. Marionetas, puppets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you're gonna love it. We're gonna go see Terry Fader. Terry Fader, I think he won America's Got Talent. He's very talented and you might think whatever now, but when the show's over, I know you're gonna love it. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Sit down first. 
and I am freshly showered and shaved and feeling a lot cleaner, <laughs> leaner. And my mom, as always, is running late. Gra Grandma! Okay, hurry up. And wait, look at this. Dressed up and ready to go out, looking chic. Did I tell you what we're going to see today? No. Terry Fader. He's a ventriloquist, so it's gonna be a puppet show and comedy. Oh, he's good. Yeah. Good to see, I love that. All right, <laughs> let's go. This is the inside of the New York, New York. Casinos are fun, but not to gamble. We don't, to gamble? We don't gamble, because that's wasting money. What is gamble? Gamble is you play these games here, like these are slot machines, and you put money in them, and you can win money, but we don't gamble. Gra well, Grandma does, but Daddy doesn't, and you won't. <laughs> Look at this. This is my day. This is beautiful. This looks like New York City, Little Italy. Oh, I love Vegas. Did not know us that smart. <laughs> Do you honestly believe that? Look, I don't know what the hell's going on. This is way above my pay grade. Let's just move on. Okay, fine. You know what? Fine. The puppets are right. They've been right the whole time. They are part of my psychological makeup. How did I never see this before, Mater? Sometimes, Terry, it's very hard to see the puppets through the trees. Maybe so. <laughs> do you, let me ask you this. Uh, don't touch me. I'm sorry, you're falling off this thing. Um, <clears throat> do you think you could sing just a little bit of an Elvis song for people? I don't know no Elvis songs, however. I have a solution. What's your solution? I don't know any Elvis songs, but you do. So what? So. Tell me, what was your favorite part of the show, Mia? The turtle. The turtle. The turtle. Why did you like that? It was funny. <laughs> and you, Mario? The turtle. The turtle. Okay. I heard the two of you laughing so much throughout the show. Did you think it was funny? Yeah. You liked it then? I know. It was a good show, I think, right? And yeah. Can my friend be on camera? Yeah, yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Kat Graham, who also is a puppet enthusiast. You and, are? Uh, and I really, I enjoyed this tremendously. It was very funny. The iconic. <laughs> Kat, Kat was telling my daughter that we've been friends for yeah. a very long time. Yeah, I was telling, I was telling you, Mia, that um, your dad actually discovered me before I was on the TV show. And he actually did also did not know that I would like puppets. So. I did not know that. I did not know that. And did you so like the show? I did. I loved the show. I liked the cowboy. What was his name? Maynard? Yes. Maynard. Yeah. He was great. His and you're was in amazing. Vegas celebrating a friend's birthday. Yeah, well, all three of us have our birthdays around the time. So Alyssa. Wait, Michael, when's your birthday? September 5th. Oh, okay. It's coming up. So it's like literally a month. After yeah, so. so this is perfect for us. And you were just in Vegas for an event? I mean, in Austin. I was for, in Austin. How did that Nirvana. go? It was so great. You guys would have liked it. Do you guys know how to meditate yet? I know. They do it at yeah. school. Oh, yes. you do it in school? Yeah. Okay. Their That's school's cool. pretty ah, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's um, so we had is this a nice something that you're going to do night. annually? Maybe? I, think, I think maybe we'll do annually. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we'll come to schools and, and hang out. But in the meantime, we're going to watch some puppet shows. And you're on a kid's show. Oh, Has yeah, that I'm premiered on, already? Ninja Turtles. Do you guys like Ninja She's Turtles? She's on the new Ninja Turtles show. Do you like Ninja Turtles? Yeah. She's the voice of April. Yeah. Hello. Don't mind us. So <laughs> this, is, this is the man of the hour. My, Mia, you had a question that you wanted to ask? Oh. What was your question that you asked me? Journalist. You want to know how he was able to do it without moving his lips? I can, I can ask it for you. Is that what you wanted to ask? A lot of practice and hard work. I love hearing I that. Used to, I used to just go around the house and say thousands and thousands of times, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. And I had to learn how to say everything. I had to learn how to say anything and everything I wanted without moving my lips. So I would, what I did was I would listen to the radio and I would sing along to the, uh, to the music without moving my lips. That was how I practiced. So. Wow. Well, they both play piano and Mario right. plays violin too. Whoa. And every day 
I tell them we go over our eight most important things in life. What's number two? I don't know. Yes, you do. Practice. What did you say? Practice. Work very hard. That's right. Work number very one is hard. family, uh, and number two is work very yes. hard. Number one is always family. Always. Yes. Hello. Well, we loved this show. Thank you for having us. Thank you. So, Cat Graham is iconic, legendary, oh. beloved by the gays. But, you know, um, I never really watched Vampire Diaries. And I'm not, I'm not going to get into things, but I want her to know that she's loved by so many. Oh, I love you. No, but, I love you. But, like, it was nice for me to, like, know how loved and supported you are by others. Wow. I, do, you, I, wait, do you have a message for the others, all those people that love you and support you? You know what? I will say that you were the first. Right after, um, I guess it was tour with um, Will I Am. I remember sitting in your apartment and I was going by the name KG, and you were like, <laughs> I sat on your couch and you were like, I don't know, what about the name Cat Graham? Cat Graham. I like Cat Graham. So actually, fun fact for anyone that didn't know that Mario was actually the one that discovered me. Uh, he was, and the name Cat Graham actually comes from this guy. So I love you, and thank you for being my friend and, and loving me for so many years. I and know, and look at you now. So We've both grown and done many so, things. and So much growth. And now we're in Vegas. Now we're in Vegas. <laughs> I love you. I love you. And that is a wrap. Cat and Alyssa and their friend went out to dinner but I already ate and I wanted to remove myself from temptation to eat and drink again. Plus I'm tired and I wanna get rest because I've been doing a lot and um, yeah. That's how I do vacations, I do a lot. Oh my God, I look like my mother right now. Wearing this and with my hair, oh my God. I, I'm my mother right now. How did that happen? Um, I love Vegas. I love you. I love Cat Graham. I thoroughly enjoyed that show, and I was surprised how racy it was. I thought, oh, we're going to see a puppet show, and there was a lot of adult humor in there that would go over the heads of young ones, but it was really sur pleasantly surprising. My favorite part was not the turtle, like the kids. Mine was the cowboy because that was the raciest. Super fun. I'm glad I went. I love that casino. It's a pretty casino, New York, New York. There's still a lot to come in Vegas. A lot to do. A lot of surprises. Stay tuned. Stay a part of my fram. And please, please, please check out my True 10 CBD gummies from me. And an amazing partner, quality, excellence. Check us out at mytrue10.com. Mytrue10.com. Okay, let's do this. I love ya.